guys, how you doing? My name is Tommy, and this is the Gallery Backyard Barbecue. And on today's show, we're gonna take a first look and a first cook for the Griddle Shroud Mod for the Master Build Gravity Fed. And it's coming right up. Alright everybody, my name is Tommy and this is the Gallery Backyard Barbecue and real quick a couple show announcements. Number one, Mr. Joe DePaldo, our newest member to the uh, Gallery crew. Thanks a lot buddy, it is greatly appreciated as I roll my Patreon and my uh, YouTube join members on the uh, board there. Hit that subscribe button, ring that bell, you know the deal. Now let's get going. Alrighty, look, as we uh, bring up the uh, master built to temperature, I got the uh, control set to 400, right? Luke does advise not going over 500 as it's just gonna throw too much heat underneath that griddle and it could cause some damage. So we're gonna start it off at 400. I got some measurements. Now, other, the other cook I had, the griddle, was, was, was past the uh, shroud. On this cook, it's right over the shroud. So I'm real interested in getting some measurements all down that griddle and also on both sides of the shroud. Look, so basically what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna go with a, uh, a big old fat, juicy American cheeseburger. I got some uh, fried onions I'm gonna fry up. I got probably about eight ounces here of ground beef, 80-20, and I'm also going to put a little bacon on. Oh yeah, this is going to be good. All right, the pit's about 150 degrees. You know the master belt, man. She moves up pretty quick. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to get my uh, griddle on, maybe get a little oil on it, and then we'll start taking some temperatures. All right, everybody, I'm not sure it gets any better than this. I just want to show you a uh, quick setup of the, this uh, shroud. It takes about maybe 10 seconds to set up, as you see. It fits perfectly right over that heat assembly. Just like that, and basically what this shroud does is it just redirects the heat straight up, right? So it kind of stops the heats from coming to the sides, and it goes straight up that shroud and directly to your griddle. And I have to tell you, it definitely works pretty well. And as you see on this cook, on the uh, last cook, I used the uh, griddle top for my for my uh, pit boss. On this one, I have a, uh, it's an indoor cheap uh, griddle, uh, but it seems to go directly over the shroud. So I want to give this one a uh, shot. I'll get some oil down and we'll slowly bring this up to temperature. Now I am listing down in the description a uh, griddle that is, uh, seems to be perfect for this uh, shroud. And you see my measurements are seem to be about 100 degrees hotter over the griddle than on the uh, sides, which is, uh, well, that's pretty perfect. Get our bacon and onions down, get them fried up. Oh man, I am looking forward to this burger. Oh, yeah. A little salt and pepper down on the onions definitely never hurt. Oh, 
Now, if you notice, I open up that uh, hood very slow. The uh, Anytime you use lump in this thing, right, there's a lot of, uh, well, you see the sparks and there's a lot of dust from the uh, lump. So basically, when you open it up slow like that, you're just not disturbing the uh, bottom of the uh, pit. That's why I, uh, I learned that over 130 some odd cooks. if you could see that but we look to be about 367 Fahrenheit over the uh, griddle she is coming up uh, well, she's coming up pretty good this whole cook right here is less than five minutes get a uh, little dab of butter down and of course everyone loves to watch the sizzle Alrighty, look, that bacon looks to be about done. So what we'll do here is we'll get that on a uh, paper towel lined plate and we'll get that on the uh, side. And of course we put that burger right in that uh, bacon fat. Alrighty, look, as you can see, that griddle is really cooking now. Those onions are looking good. That burger is uh, frying up nice. Man, I just love cooking on the griddle. What I'm going to do here is get those uh, onions off, get them on the uh, side. We'll get those back on to heat them up in a... Uh, when that burger's done, of course. Now look, total cooking time on this uh, burger before the flip, because of its thickness and size, is gonna be about five minutes or so. And I'll get some uh, salt and pepper down. And that is a, a nice looking sear on that burger for sure. So look, we did the initial four or five minutes. I'm gonna get some salt pepper down. I'll get that cheese right on because we're only going to go about maybe two, three, four minutes. I'll take a uh, temperature check to make sure I'm good at the uh, proper temperature. Then we'll get this sucker pulled off and on the board. Let's get our bacon and fried onions back on. We'll bring those up to temperature. Oh, 
and I do believe it is time to build us a burger. Look, I don't think there is uh, much to say here, so I'm just going to let the uh, camera run. All right, guys, look, that is it. And I'll tell you, man, if you want to turn your uh, master built gravity fed into a griddle, this thing definitely does the trick, man. I have zero complaints. I mean, the, 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 the griddle was up over 500. I'm not sure if I got a measurement on it. I actually had to lower the uh, gravity fed a little bit because I didn't want to overcook my burger, had the uh, onions working and the, uh, the bacon working. I mean, it all it just looked awesome. I'm going to cut this bad boy open and see what we got. And I'll do a quick on-screen taste test. I mean, this sucker is definitely... a friggin' monster. <laughs> Hell, I'm not even going to cut it open. I'm just going to dive right in. Let me uh, reset up this camera here. And uh, cheers. You know, I've wanted to do that for so long. You know, ever since you get hooked on the Smash Burger, and hey, man, Smash Burgers are awesome, but you kind of miss that big old fat plump uh, burger, and that's exactly what this sucker is: big old fat, juicy, greasy cheeseburger. Mm. <laughs> Ah, man, what can I say, man? This burger is money. That shroud is money, man. If you're looking to uh, turn your 1050 into a, a griddle, that sucker's gonna do the trick, man. Uh, that's all there is to it. You know, I would, again, I would get the measurements to get the proper size griddle, but once you do that, man, you're home free. You're cooking breakfast, you're cooking lunches, you're cooking dinners. You know, it does, definitely does open up a whole new ball game. I got the Blackstone right there and I still use the griddle off the pit boss and I'm going to use the griddle for this man because I just love cooking on the griddle. All right look I got Molly staring at me here. I'm going to drop a couple other cooks there. If you have any questions on this shroud man just leave them down below. I'm going to roll my Patreons right here. I appreciate you all and until next time I will see you soon. Oh yeah. I mean, what could you say? <laughs>